We now study how to construct data channel selectors, or multiplexers, from basic gates. As seen in a previous video, a multiplexer is a device that allows the receiver to select one out of multiple incoming data channels. The logic symbol for the multiplexer, or MUX, is shown here. Note that with data channels, it is customary to have data coming in from the top and exiting from the bottom. For this two-channel multiplexer, the user uses a control line called SELECT to determine which of two input channels, A or B, will be allowed to transmit data through to the output channel X. When a channel is allowed to transmit its data to the output, that channel is said to be open. All other channels are said to be closed. Note that each channel may consist of a number of lines. However, all channels, whether input or output, must contain the same number of lines. When labeling the individual lines of a channel, we will use the overall channel name, in this case A, followed by a number. The numbering starts from 0 on the left and increases to the right. We now consider how to construct a multiplexer from basic gates. The simplest multiplexer is a single-bit, single-channel multiplexer that opens when the control input is 1 and it closes the channel when the control input is zero. This is achieved using a single AND gate. The control input can be called SELECT A. When SELECT A is zero, then the output channel is zero and the channel is closed. When SELECT A is one, the output channel is equal to the input channel and the channel is open. We extend this idea to a two-channel multiplexer, in which one channel is open while the other is closed. This is achieved using two AND gates with complementary select inputs. In this way, A is open when B is closed and vice versa. It is conventional to invert the control input so that it is channel B that is open when this input is 1. For this reason, we will call this input SELECT B. We will then use an OR gate to merge the two channels into a single output channel, since in our case, the closed channel will always give a value of zero. This in total gives us the desired two-channel device. We will now use this two-channel multiplexer to construct more complicated multiplexers. This is an example of modular design, which we spoke of in an earlier video. In a multi-bit two-channel multiplexer, the input and output channels consist of an equal number of parallel lines. This can be easily implemented by arranging the required number of single-bit multiplexers in parallel and tying the control inputs together. This diagram shows the specifications for the 74157 integrated circuit from the TTL family of logic. This is a 4-bit two-channel multiplexer. This IC contains an active low enable. As a circuit implementation guide, IC specifications refer to binary logic in voltage terms, H for high or VCC L for low or ground.